I just like last Tuesday and I've had way too much time for some self-reflection so and I've been reading I just reread Marina Keegan's essay The Opposite of Loneliness so I want to share some excerpts and some of my thoughts this scares me more than finding the right job or city or spouse I'm scared of losing the web that we're in this elusive indefinable opposite of loneliness this feeling I feel right now. But let us get one thing straight. The best years of our lives are not behind us. They're part of us and they are set for repetition as we grow up and move to New York and away from New York and wish we did or didn't live in New York. I plan on having parties when I'm 30. I plan on having fun when I'm old. Any notion the best years comes from cliched shit hats if I had wish I'd. Of course there are things we wish we did. Our readings, that boy across the hall, were our own hardest critics and it's easy to let ourselves down. Sleeping too late, procrastinating, cutting corners. More than once I've looked back on my hard school self and thought, how did I do that? How did I work so hard? Our private insecurities follow us and will always follow us. The thing is, we're all like that. Nobody wakes up when they want to. Nobody did all the readings, except maybe the crazy people who win the prizes. You have these impossibly high standards, and you will probably never live up to your perfect fantasies of our future selves. But I feel like that's okay. We're so young. We're so young. We're 22 years old. We have so much time. That's a sentiment I sometimes sense. Creeping in our collective conscious as we lay alone after a party or pack up our books when we give in and go out, that it is somehow too late, that others are somehow ahead, more accomplished, more specialized, more on the path to somehow saving the world, somehow creating or inventing or improving, that it's too late now to begin a beginning and must settle for continuance for commencement. I've been spending a lot of time staring at myself in the mirror, as if if I looked longer, I would provide myself with a feeling of company and contentment, as if something would change if I just looked harder and closer, such that I would discover something new. So often, we search externally for answers to internal problems. Instead, I'm left with a sense of continuity from one day to the other without clear delineation, without the sense of growth that I was seeking, a hook to make it feel like time was actually passing and not just some notion we choose to exist. I wonder how we will look back on this era of the pandemic and the period when our perception of time and remembrance have become skewed. What makes days memorable? Perhaps emotional turmoil, the feeling that something new and exciting is happening, Brain stimulation, routine, and deviation from routine? Doing definitive tasks and having something to look back on. How can I overcome this cloudy future and have things to look forward to again rather than dread? How can I fill myself with a sense of optimism again that I am, in fact, in my early 20s with the entire world to tackle? I remind myself, this is the time to use your ability to dream, to dream about the best possible outcome of your future. When... If you do end up living in New York City, when you get to meet so many diverse people with interesting stories, when you're surrounded by the art and bustle of the city, or in the future once you're living in Colorado, once you have published your first book, or once you are enjoying the beautiful outdoors, or finding love, hold on to these feelings. I need to continue to remind myself that life isn't a race or a game of manipulation. We're learning every step of our journeys, perhaps at different paces, and that's what makes it interesting. There's no grand destination that we're all trying to get to, so think about you now. What would be the best things for you to do? What we have to remember is that we can still do anything. We can change our minds. We can start over get a post back or try writing for the first time. The notion that it's too late to do anything is comical. It's hilarious. We're graduating college. We're so young. We can't. We must not lose the sense of possibility because in the end, it's all we have.